Hi everyone, this is Doggy Bag Productions bringing you a video on how to easily add cross hatching to your illustrations. As you may recall, we looked at doing one layer hatching with vectors in the previous video. So today we'll move forward to doing cross hatching. In other words, we'll do not one but two layers. Having a second layer of shade will allow us to better define the volume. So let's get it started. We'll continue using Inkscape and we'll continue where we left off before with one hatch layer done. This time we'll use an extension called AxiDraw, so get it now if you want to follow through. You will see the information you need to get it in the video description. Once AxiDraw is installed, the first thing you want to do is to define where your light source is located. In my case, I chose it to be on the upper right corner of the screen. Hence, the upper right surface of the donut will be the lighter and the lower left surface of the donut will be the darker. With this in mind, picture the areas where you put the hatches. So we'll start with this area here, one layer at 15 degrees. As you can see, I have already made all the shapes we need to speed up the process. So go to the extensions menu, Axid Draw, Hatch Fill. If you get a solid color fill instead of the hatch fill, most likely it is due to having the stroke width too high. I like to have more hatch spacing. So I'll bring this up. The strokes still seem a tad too thin. Yeah, that looks better. Once the hatch is done, you have to ungroup it from the shape to delete the shape.
ensure all the hatches have the same width. Now let's do the second layer. You can also do multiple shapes at a time by shift select them. And of course, this time we'll change the direction of the strokes to minus 15 degrees. If you zoom out and look at it from farther, you can better appreciate the effect and confirm if you are in the right path. As we can see here from a video of Dan Nelson, a renowned artist, there are these little dots that can be added for more detail. Pen and Ink Cross Hatching Master's Edition. You will find this information in the video description. So now let's add some dots too. It's a very simple thing, but in the end it all adds up to a more complete effect. Here we can see the donut done now. I am sure Dan could give us a lesson or two on hatching, but hopefully this is good enough to put you in the right track. By all means, feel free to improvise as you go along. As long as you can see that your additions are contributing to a result you are happy with, go for it. You might just start a new trend, you never know. I hope you will make use of this technique. 
If you do, please come back to comment about it and share it with the community. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. It will encourage me to make more. Special thanks to Dan Nelson for lending his cross-hatching examples. If you enjoy top-level illustration and cross-hatching, visit his YouTube channel. Also special thanks to Scott Buckley for Rainbows, the first piece of music we kicked off the video with, and to Kevin McLeod for Inspired, the second piece of music. You will find the links in the video description below. The Doggy Back Productions logo, intro animation, and subscribe image belong to Doggy Back Productions.